we're finally here. Why were they put the detectives so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi. And traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hmm? Hold on. What's that? Irving, why does it look undaunted like that? Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. They were trying to make him the police mascot. Well, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be... Dancing with the blue badger? Oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. Hey there, pal! What are you what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? You know what? Yeah what? Yeah well Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get some information. Hey, I'll let you know I'm a very busy man there, pal. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says that she showed the, the detective to the prosecutor's office, and she killed him. But... What if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no, come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is that little girl so peeved at me? She's, she's a relative to the suspect, Mona's guy's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister! Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! Yes, sir! Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like fate. Huh? It's just. it's just a sensitive issue with us these days. What are you doing here, Detective Kumashu? Oh, now she's starting to sound a little bit like Maya. Me? Oh, you know nothing, really. And yeah, they kicked me out of the criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean this time? What happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case, you know. It's true. We never had a chief prosecutor met her any anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being let into the criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guys in there is our chief of detectives. And they're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. I mean, you. I know this is. A, I know that this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting that badger dance down pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? You know, the chief of, pro the chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was, dis was assigned to the, to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that that Marshall guy. Show me the charge of the scene of the crime. It's unheard of, pal. Found Mr. Andrew's car stabbed with Mr. Andrew's knife, huh? And what would drive Chief Prosecutor Scott to do with such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean. I mean, sure, of course someone else really did it. Yeah, someone must have. Um. Someone who had a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. 
car and then that do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Stretchworth. What could have happened? We'll have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Hey, that's it! Yeah, it's the Game Prosecutor's Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you, at, were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, of course, Pail! I give a word for diligence myself. Oh, congratulations. I was wondering, what is... Why does he wear a shield? Why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um... Yeah, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. Yeah, but I was proud of Miss Edward for winning that award. He even got a naysayer in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumors. He's in a tough spot again. Again? Well, it all started with that murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But I trust was found innocent! Listen, pal. There have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with the witnesses. Nothing outright. Yeah, but there was nothing. But there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, the only one no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But... But there's no evidence against him. Yeah, well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had a... unusually strong ties to the department that's higher ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say that the only reason he took this case to be chief prosecutor in the position himself. What? But I know the truth here, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Me and Sir Edward is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, it's a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to return it. You have to turn it into the police. People like you that get me in so much trouble all the time. I mean, the detective comes here must drop his car mm, Let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in Colonel for some Whoa! Now I remember! Bruce Goodman! He's a victim! Yeah, that's right. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Oh, okay. So, this ID card belongs to the victim. Yeah, he was a, de he was a detective like myself. Take the Bruce Goodman. Hey, don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground? We found it. Well, the take the Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the, at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but where is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot and lost confessing as much? I was worried 
about that? What? The, the Daisy Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. Beer, please. You made this, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, the two, the two threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, pal. And nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. And it's a little switch, so it just dances and dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger. Fade to dance until he drops. And that's all I know about that. And that's all I know about that. Yeah, I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is... Oh, what's his name? The guy in the parking lot. And yeah, that'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West ser Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West L.A. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Hey, look here! It looks like something's been erased! Maybe it was a letter or something for Dick and Gumshoe? Let's see! Maybe we'll go, it's $20! Um, I think a couple zeros are missing. No, that sounds about right. At least... Not the text case. Maybe I should read me like there as, as an investigator. You're supposed to be there. But nobody will look twice at you, pal. Alrighty. Well, hopefully it works. Looks like the investigation is still going. I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put it in charge of its crime scene. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, Fanlair's Domingo, right to the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Maybe we investigate. Gumshoe? Ah, oh, that old cow dog? Hmm. He's holding a birthday party or something. Huh? Look, where should. Or it should say letter of introduction. It says invitation. Ah, I think you just miswrote it. Great, Detective Gumshoe. I owe you one. No worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I better let you in then. 
Thanks, officer. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective. He's a patrolman. Actually, that reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, who's our calling? Welcome to our gold strike. You like to settle in? Strike out for plans unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoop. This investigation is about settling the land. Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, wait, can I actually talk to him? Yeah. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Um, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman! He was a detective, right? Well, well. Aren't you a nice little dog? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15 p.m. Smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness was Star. One stabbed with the chest. A fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, but you know. Chief Prosecutor Sky, Detective Goodman. Had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So, there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. But my sister called the victim here all the day of the murder, right? To this parking lot. So it seems. Like calling an unknown man to a shootout at high noon. Um, I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a not a detective. They call me out. They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them. Really? Now he tells me. Well, you're a patrolman now. So how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, baby? Yeah. So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just showing in for right now. I'm keeping an eye on the meat. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying you had nothing to do. He doesn't realize it yet. Did the ghost ship kicked out of the investigation? An oil drum. Looks like it was filled with water. The drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know! I'll hide here and use stakeout! I think he'll probably just get arrested. In fact, he may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. 
What? I'm not suspicious. This looks, this looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysts would suggest I belong to the victim. I can't think of anyone else I belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Right. Let's check it out. See, he's popular as ever with the kids. Hmm, let's just play on the redial button. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright? Most ones keep your record of home. I mean, it received. You just press the blue button on the to dial the last time you call. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. Whatever. Let's check, let's check out this phone. I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Not the self. Defense attorneys don't think first. He just pushes the button. Hey, that song, I know that. going on over here? Ah, uh, sorry. I see, partner. You pressed that redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was, on, it was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That phone is Chief Prosecutor Sky. What? It's my sister's? Right after the crime. Look, last call made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who'd she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ring tunes. Oh, that? Oh, I'm sorry, that was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah. It's uh, kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. Wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh-oh. I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Well, let's examine the car a bit more. It appears to be the car where they where the body was found. 
It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. Crime to replace it? The underground bar is located at the prosecutor's office. <clears throat> That's not the right voice. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subdoor's car. Where was your car? Has the street? I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. So wait! The victim must have died in the killer closed the trunk on him! Computer, calm down. You have got to be the only person I know that would come up with that conclusion. What's on? Am I not going to examine the car more? No, barely not. between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gone to me. Maybe it's a drive wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. Try wind or ill will. Something's up. Just, something's up to something. Someone's up somewhere. God, I can't read today. But who? Suspicions about Miss Redwood have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forge evidence, arranged testimonies, you name it. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable? That is until he met you. Those are just rumors, aren't they? These are pros these are prosecutors that we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Bambina is your sister. 
Chief Prosecutor Law's guy. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. What? You're saying that, that Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here, somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was close to Edgeworth? shield over and over. What's this sound? The prosecutor's office and criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. You know it. They've gotten cheaper with every passing year, I tell you. Let's go to the detention center. And she's not there. this? Looks like some sort of note. Look! Something's written on it! You're right. Let's see. 6-7s 12 over 2? There's an imprint on that paper above that. Goodman! Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed? Well, so? What does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? What's the self? For detective reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? Yes, I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing that's still bothering me is that Lana's confessing to the crime. She says that she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yes. I know that. I know that song. Your ah. I know that song your phone plays when it rings. It's the Seal Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? The phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518, just after the murder took place, your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I, I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. The detective is murdered, and the suspect is the top prosecutor of the, di in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Wait, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. This is the longest recording session I've ever had. And it probably won't be the last. 
But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you liked this episode, hit that like button. If you want to stay up to date for more content on the channel, hit that subscribe button. And then, as always, I'll see you guys later in the next episode. So please take care, and, and then, as always, have yourself a wonderful day.